Hi Community Family Church and everyone listening via social media. Welcome to day five of a five-part devotional series on um, hungering for God. I'd just like to recap quickly what I've spoken with you about up until now. Um, during the first part of this devotion series, I spoke with you about uh, physical hunger and spiritual hunger and what it means to become spiritually hungry. Part two, three, and four each dealt with um, a benefit that you experience when you become hungry for God. Part five, which is today's topic, I'd like to speak with you a little bit about what prevents us from becoming hungry for God. We all go through different seasons in our faith journey, seasons of blessing and provision and seasons of testing and perseverance. If we make the choice to set our minds and our hearts to stay hungry for God during every season of our lives, we will be rewarded with a deeper, more intimate knowledge and revelation of the Father's heart for us. God longs to fill us with more of himself. If the invitation to um, become hungry for God is so simple, if all we have to do is, is come to Jesus, then what hinders us from I'm going to him. God longs to fill us with more of himself. And the Bible says in John 6, 35, Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. In, in John 7, verse 37, Jesus says, Let him come to me and drink. In Isaiah 55 verse 1, God says, Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And Revelation 22 verse 17, God says, Whoever is thirsty, let him come. If the invitation is so simple, if all we have to do is come to Jesus, then what hinders us from going to him? The answer is simple. It's junk food. In our spiritual lives, junk food shows up in the form of anything that we use to fill that God-shaped void that I spoke about earlier in this devotion um, series. Anything that we use to fill that void except Jesus himself. We all have struggles, whether it be health issues or financial issues or perhaps loneliness. We eat spiritual junk food the moment we rely too much on people or Google or Facebook to help us with these struggles. Proverbs 15 verse 4 says, The mind of him who has understanding seeks knowledge and inquires after and craves it. But the mouth of the self-confident fool feeds on folly. Despite the fact that we live in a world where instant gratification is the norm, ultimately, we can't microwave spiritual growth. We learn to walk closer with God and we learn to know Him and to experience Him and to enjoy Him as we make knowing Him our number one priority each and every day. Spiritual hunger always results in wanting to know God more. And being spiritually hungry is a gift that God gives to you and me, His children, and it is one of the keys that he uses to bless us. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much that everything that you have given us, Lord, is meant for our good. Thank you, Father, that when we seek you, we will find you every single time. Lord, thank you so much that you are our Father and that we are always safe in your arms. Thank you that we can always run to you, Lord, any time of the day. Thank you, Father, that when we come to you, when we become hungry and we come and drink from you and when we come and eat from your word, Father, that we will always be filled. Thank you, Jesus. I pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you so much for spending 
um, time with me during this five-part devotion series. It was absolutely great to have you, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. Dear Father God, Today I surrender my life to you. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for my sin and for raising him back to life so that I can spend eternity with you. I am now your child. You are now my Father and your Holy Spirit now lives in me. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. I love you. Amen.